Hey, what's up guys? This is Atlantis Refurbished, back again with another video. And today we're going to be talking about being very careful about what you say. Um, this, especially when you have a clear energy flow with all your chakras open. Um, this is because things will manifest a lot quicker. Alright guys, so once you open, basically once you open your chakras and can feel your energy flowing up your spine um, a lot like smoother than it used to. Um, which I once again will recommend Dream Seeds Energy Unblockage or Energy Blockage Removal for. Um, this added energy and ability to more precisely direct your energy um, can be used for specific manifestations will increase greatly. Um, and because of this increased ability, you should be very mindful. Um, obviously, like keep like watch of your thoughts about what you are thinking and doing and believing to be true about reality because the manifestations also speed up in the negative direction. Um, this can cause bad things to happen to you if you are not careful since um, what you focus on grows with manifestation. All right, so some examples of this would be um, thinking about like every possible, or it's like basically some examples of thinking in the negative direction or, or thinking about negative things and having it happen a lot quicker would be, for example, thinking about every positive negative scenario going into a situation rather than having faith that it'll be all right. Um, the next one, which is kind of a more specific example, would just be like, pretend that you're constantly thinking about or for some reason worried about getting into a car accident um, this very much increases the ability that that will happen when you're in that state because um, your intention is a lot stronger when your energy is open and not blocked. Uh, wherever Whatever you're thinking about is where your energy will naturally flow to. So you want to believe that good things will always happen to you. Um, obviously, you can't like control everything that happens to you. But a lot of it can be controlled by monitoring your thoughts and being careful about what you're thinking about. Um, the next one would be, for example, like thinking that people don't like you for some reason. Uh, and then because you're constantly thinking that people don't like you, you're giving off like a nervous energy. And um, naturally, people are going to respond to that by like closing themselves off to you, which will then make you believe, oh, see, I told you they don't like me. Um, a lot of this negative vibrational attraction um, and intention is a self-fulfilling prophecy where you believe that like these bad things are going to happen and you're in like a higher energy flow. So they do start happening. And then when they happen, you go, oh, see, I told you so. But that's not actually the case. That's just because you're focusing on it. Um, so that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um once you realize that, you can also, you can then shift your mindset to think more positively. And then um, instead of having negative self-fulfilling prophecies, you would have positive self-fulfilling prophecies. So basically, because it happens quicker, a lot of the time it seems like what you said was proven right, when in reality, you just attract how you feel. So either positive or negative the universe will eventually dish out what you're think constantly thinking about. Um, once again, a self-fulfilling prophecy. So just be very mindful about how you're thinking and obviously try to keep it more positive. Um, this can be changed, however, or like some examples that you can change or some ways that you could change to be more positive would be by shifting your mindset, um, having positive affirmations and making sure you're in a positive energy state. Um, some ways to change your mindset to be more positive that I personally use um, so that you don't attract these negative things would be the channel I keep shouting out, Dream Seeds on YouTube. They have three videos that I like to use from them to keep vibration high is Repel Negative Energy, um, Energy Blockage Removal, which I talked about earlier. The reason that Energy Blockage Removal would help is because um, stored energy is stored past emotions and some of those can be negative. Uh, most blockage type energies are negative memories. So by getting rid of them, you wouldn't think about those negative things as much, and then you wouldn't attract more of those negative things as much. 
Um, another one that kind of acts similar to that would be Etheric Cord Cutter by Dream Seeds, and I'll link all of these in the video description. Um, basically what Etheric Cord Cutter does, and I made an entire video on that, is that it'll cut the energy cords that you have to people in your past or events in your past that are negative, so you're once again just like removing the energy blockage. Uh, you would be a lot less likely to think about those things which would then mean you wouldn't attract them as much. Um, and then two videos from Sapien Medicine that I use that are frequency videos to sort of like up my vibration and not think about negativity as much would be Unconditional Love by Sapien Medicine. Obviously, love is a high vibration. And Positive Vibrations by Sapien Medicine, which is obviously a positive vibration. <laughs> All right, guys, and now some examples of some non-frequency methods. So like just naturally like behavior type methods to stay out of a negative state and stay in a positive state would be engaging in positive and uplifting habits and activities rather than negative activities like drug use. Um, a positive activity would be like drawing or so like a hobby you like that benefits you mentally, reading, gaining new knowledge, um, hanging out with other people that are positive people. Um, the list goes on basically anything you can think of that builds you up and doesn't tear you down in some way. Um, another method would be to visualize best case scenarios in your head, not worst case scenarios. So obviously going into something that worries you or some like big event, you in instead of a like once again, having one of those self-fulfilling prophecies where all you're thinking about is how bad it could happen, then it, something bad happens. Um, try to visualize it going the best possible way that you could imagine. And while some things still might not go how you envisioned it, um, it's a lot more likely when you are being a positive person that it'll at least go decently um, rather than like a complete train wreck if you are thinking about the worst case scenario, obviously. Um, the next example would be to stay in the present moment the best you can. Um, this is because most negative emotions or like in unstable chaotic emotions come from either thinking about the past where you messed up or worrying about the future where you can mess up. Um, the best thing to do is to meditate, quiet your mind, and try to basically stay in the moment where those problems don't exist. All right, guys, so in summary, uh, basically the greater the ability to which your energy flows, the greater speed at which you are going to manifest. And because of this, you should be very careful of what you think and surround yourself with as these things will keep happening quicker. And obviously you would prefer that those be positive things. Um, also to make sure that you stay in a positive mindset, use frequencies and stay away from negative influences. Um, all right, soul family, that was pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Um, just remember to engage in positive activities as much as you can, um, as well as positive thinking. And as always, I wish you guys good luck on all your positive manifestations. Peace.